And now with our rig modeled, we need to position it. So it's in top view, I'm just going to bring it all the way over to about here. And just come down. And something like that should be alright. Let's even rotate it over a little. Cool, so that's one ring done and positioned. And now all you need to do is uh, make sure we select the entire ring. Oop, wrong button. So for that one there, we're going to make sure we select the entire ring, not just the empty. And we'll go Alt D. Now Alt D is for link duplicate, by the way. Wrong button. And we will rotate this around. Do spend a little bit of time placing these by the way. Um, you do want them to be touching the ground, the rest of them. And you don't want them to be intersecting the other rings. So just pull them out like that. They need to be resting just on. Okay, with that said, um, we're going to, I'm just going to quickly make the rest of these. And once you've made them all, just go R, Z, Z, and then give them all a slightly different rotation. Okay, so as you can see, we now have all five rings positioned. And you can see I haven't actually gone straight over the chain. Because what we're going to do now is we need to link the chain through the rings. So if you select your this one here and tab into edit mode and we need to move these around. Now I can see this is going a little slow on my computer uh, mainly because I've got my recorder running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my curve settings, I'm going to set the render to perhaps 8 and preview to about 2. And if we also select this one, I'm going to do the same for this one here as well. Alright, so that will give us a lot less geometry to have to control. So it's working a lot faster now. Okay, so in top view, I'm going to add, move these around, um, I don't know why I've got so many there, there we go, alright, so it's straight through there, and we'll just add in a few divisions, so let's go W subdivide, and say maybe six cuts should do. So we can now move these around. Move that one up so that it comes over top of the ring. And that's about the only one we'll actually see. But we will have reflections, so make sure you do actually put this one here on the next point. And same with this one here. that next one and next one all right now just select all these again and we will go W and subdivide and the reason for that is we're going to select all the intermediate ones 
They look like they need to be moved over a little bit. That's fine, and we'll just move them down. And that will give it a nice little sag in between each ring. But move them over a bit more. Put them right down. And that should be fine. You got a little bit to do to adjust those. But you can work away at that and see if you can get a nice smooth assault. And now you can see that the rings are now laid out and our chain is now passing quite naturally through them. And we can begin texturing.